Okay. Let us get started with introduction to Tableau. In this session, we are going to see what is Tableau, what are various different products in Tableau, how do you install Tableau, and I'll show you a quick visualization demo and what are the different file types. So basically, we are going to learn very bare minimal basics of Tableau in this session. Later on, we are going to learn some of the important topics. We will get into the beginner to the intermediate level and little bit advanced level within Tableau. What is Tableau? In simple words, Tableau is a BI software, business intelligence. You want to create business intelligence reports. Tableau is a data visualization software. If you want to create data visualizations, if you want to tell a quick story out of the data, without writing a lot of text, without telling a lot of content in the form of text, what if you want to give a visualization so that the user will get to know automatically what is the point that we are trying to highlight. If you want to create a quick and great visualization, you can use Tableau. What's the alternative to Tableau? Right now, as of now, when I'm recording this video, it is November 2022. Right now, there are two softwares that are very, very popular in this BI space. This is Tableau. Can you guess the other one? What's the second one? That is also another BI software. It's very famous. The other one is Power BI. Tableau and Power BI are number one and two, or maybe one of them is one, the other one is two. But these are the top two softwares that are right now, the BI tools. Tableau is very, very easy to use. Even if you are an absolute beginner, even if you have absolutely no background in BI, if you have no background in any other tool, still you can use Tableau. Tableau is very, very easy to get started and you can create visualizations very, very fast. Visualizations like this, they may look very complex when you look at them, but you can create these visualizations very, very fast. In fact, a visualization like this, it may look very complex. In fact, in my demo, I'm going to show you this can be created under five minutes, this one. The remaining ones, if you have clarity on what you need to create, if you have clarity on what is the data, then creating a visualization using Tableau is not difficult. All that you need to do is you need to design your dashboard. You need to design your values. You need to design what you want to visualize. Once you have that clarity in your mind, then Tableau is a great software that will help you to create various different, different type of visualization. These are some of the Tableau sample dashboards. Now there are different, different products within Tableau. There is something called Tableau Desktop. This is where actually the BI analysts or Tableau developers will be working. This is where we actually create the dashboards. When you join a company, when you're actually working there on a project, you will be working on Tableau Desktop. The other one is Tableau Server. Once you're done with your work, you can create or you can send all your reports or the dashboards onto a Tableau server. You can visualize the reports using a web browser. Using Tableau server, you can create them and you can visualize them using a web browser. You can get into Chrome and you can see the reports. This is like local. You create them. If your client or a lot of clients, a lot of users, if they want to see what is the dashboard that you have created, they require Tableau server. In fact, the backend data also, the data that is used for creating this, that will also be hosted on the server itself. There is one more similar product called Tableau Online. Tableau Server, Tableau Online are almost same, but the only difference is here, the backend data here on the server, you have the data also hosted, but here the backend data will be on our own server, on our server. What if you do not want to share your data? You just want to share your dashboard only, the backend data you do not want to share, then we can use Tableau online. Then there are some free softwares, Tableau Reader. What is Tableau Reader? If somebody has sent you a Tableau file, someone has sent you a Tableau file, you do not have Tableau license. By the way, Tableau is not a free software, it's a paid software. If you do not have Tableau license, you cannot open that file. Then you can use Tableau Reader just to open the file and see what is happening. That's it. 
you will not be able to make any modifications or changes. So this is an open source. The other one, the one that we are going to use right now in our course is Tableau Public. Tableau Public is like your Tableau desktop where you can create all the visualizations, but there is only one constraint that you cannot save any work locally. You have to save all the work on Tableau Public. There is one Tableau Public Gallery. Any dashboard that you create, any file that you create here, automatically it will be uploaded to Tableau Public Gallery. That means Tableau will be making or publishing all your reports automatically, which means anybody can access them. That means if you want to keep anything as a secret, if you want to, if you have some data which should not be shared, then you have to buy the Tableau desktop license. If you do not have the license, if you are creating everything on Tableau Public, everyone will get to see the data. So professionally, if you are working, you have to buy the license of Tableau Desktop. If you are a learner, you can simply use Tableau Public. Since we are all learners, we will use Tableau Public. We are not worried about our data being shared anybody or anywhere. Anybody can access it. Our dashboards can also be accessed. So these are the products. So out of all these products, when you are working in a company, you will be working on these two. You will be creating the dashboards here. You will be saving them on server. But when you are learning, you will be working on Tableau Public. And that is sufficient. Working on Tableau Public will give you sufficient experience to later on handle on Tableau Desktop. Both of them are one and the same. One of them is free. Other one is paid. Once again, Tableau Public is what we are going to use. But when you join a company, you'll be working on Tableau Desktop. But both the options are almost same. The only difference is Tableau Public is free to use. You can use it for learning. Then later on, when you join a job, you'll be working on Tableau Desktop where you will be actually saving the work locally. Here, you cannot save the work locally. Okay. In fact, there is a free trail version of the Tableau Desktop. If you want to really understand how Tableau desktop works, if you want to really see how the paid version will be, there is a 14 day trail version. The full features, everything that you can do with the paid version is free for 14 days. Do not install it right now. There is a way to download and install it. You just need to say download Tableau, Tableau desktop. There is a free 14 day free trail version. You can install and you can work it in full fledged manner. But do not install it right now. You learn everything right now when you are learning. Learn everything. Practice everything in Tableau Public. Once you are done with all these lectures, once you are done with this original classrooms, when you are doing the classroom assignments, once again, listen to me carefully. Make a side note here. Once you are getting started with classroom assignments that are going to come right after these lectures, for assignments, just before starting the assignments, you install that 14-day free trail version okay once you install it you will not be able to install it again if you are thinking i'll just change my email address again i can install no within one system only once you can install tableau desktop so do not install the free trail version right now you can install it just before when you are getting started with the assignments now let us see how does the tableau opening screen look like this is for the 14 free trail, trail version Otherwise, if you open Tableau public, so what do you need to type? Tableau public. Okay, this is how it will look like. Okay, Tableau public. When you click on it, it will open this window. For me, on the right hand side, some of the previous dashboards are shown. For you, these dashboards may not be appearing. Maybe in the discover section, you may be getting some of the values, but here, whatever I'm showing here, they may not be appearing in your system. Now, let me give you a, a quick way of visualizing the data, how quickly you can visualize the data. So basically, this is the opening screen. Once you say connect to any data set, let's say Microsoft Excel or text or JSON or address or anything. So you can connect it to this data set or directly you can go to this location. Look at this at the top. You have this icon, right? Are you looking at this at the top? You click on this, it will change this. This is the sheet. This is the place where you will be spending most of time where you can connect to the data, where you can create visualizations. Otherwise, this is the opening screen. 
let us get connected to a data set and then we can start working on a particular data set i'll show you how quickly you can create the visualizations okay so let us connect to a microsoft excel data set and i have given you all the data sets before you get started with these lectures make sure that you have all the data sets downloaded all the code files downloaded all the ppts or the slides that i'm going through they must be downloaded the class material in the data sets you have a data set called gdp.xlsx so let me go through that data set these are all the data sets i have given you brazilian e-commerce data which we will be using later on cs training data mobile camera sales data tech you know, telecom bill data cars data etc right now i'm going to work with gdp data once you connect to gdp data let us see what happens once you connect to gdp data so here it is showing sheet one looks like sheet one is the name of the sheet and at the bottom what you see is some of the snapshot of the data so this is a very simple data set in this data set you have country code rank country name and gdp country code rank country name and gdp looks like the ranking is given based on the gdp value all these details we are going to go through all of them a little later as of now i'll just give you a demonstration of how tableau works how quickly you can create a particular visualization so you have to click on sheet one you see right now you are on data source there is a sheet one click on that sheet one then automatically country has been identified as this globe variable geo location variable country code is also has been identified as geolocation variable by tableau automatically and latitude longitude values based on the country they have been generated automatically gdp is identified as a number rank is identified as a number okay so these are automatically created measure names measure values sheet etc etc these are automatically created the data that we gave has country country code gdp what is the gdp of that country and what is the rank of that country all these values are given by us so what you need to do is if you want to create a graph you click on country quickly if you click on country these are all different different countries and what i want to do is i want to color all these countries based on the gdp value if i drag and drop gdp value on the color let me do that once again i hold gdp value and i drag it and keep it on color that is it automatically it's coming then what i'll do is i change the color right now the color is mono color what if i make it red green blue diverging or where is it red green gold diverging so gdp is less means it is red color gdp is high means it is green color okay then once i say apply then say click ok that is it you can create this graph quickly by using this visualization you can click you can change the graph the way it appears also or you can bring it back to the original graph you can change you can play with different different type of graphs but this is the one that will look good on this one okay so what are we looking at we are looking at various countries gdp here is usa the green color one then china yellow then india and all these countries smaller countries which are in red color means they are having lesser gdp if you do not like this color if you want to give a different color combination let's say if i say some kind of uh, sunrise sunset diverging that means red means higher gdp blue means lower gdp if i say apply so here is the place where higher gdp here is the place where there is lower gdp so you can create graphs like this very very quickly you can also change the sheet name the sheet name is let's say gdp by country apply and middle aligned let me make it bold okay gdp by country that's it the visualization is created if you want to change this visualization if you want to modify anything else you can use rest of the ones as well but as of now i'm just showing this as simple demonstration 
you just get an idea how Tableau works overview, but all these details, what graphs can be created? How do you create the graphs? What is color? How do you change the color? What is shape? How do you change the shape? What is label? What are details? There are so many other details. What are all these icons? How can we use them? All those details, they are coming up in our course. We are going to get into very much in-depth details of all these options. Now, what we will do is we will try to save this file. Since I'm working on Tableau Public, you cannot save it locally. You have to save on Tableau Public. So what I would say is, this is a demo GDP. Demo GDP is what I am saving it as. By the way, you have to download Tableau Public and you have to create an ID on Tableau Public Server. So what you need to do is, once you save that file, once you save this file on Tableau Public, this is how it look like on that website. This is the one that we have just created. This is how it look like on a website. Even when you embed this, when you share it with client, it looks like this. And people can check the values, GDP value, or, or if you want to add an extra, let's say I want to add rank also. Let me put rank on the label. So this label is appearing as rank, rank two, rank one, remaining all. Let's say I don't want rank to be on the label, but I want it to be on tooltip. Okay, tooltip means when somebody puts it, yes, India rank is nine, yes, USA rank is one. Tooltip is something that appears when you keep it here. Russia rank is 10, Iran rank is 28, like that you can see the rank, which rank, that means according to GDP, higher or lower. Then again, if you save it, save to W public, that will get refreshed, the same one, save it. It'll ask us to overwrite, yes, I would like to overwrite. Then it'll take us back to the same location. Now this time when you refresh this, or it's getting open, it is the one. Here you go bank is also appearing. So what I want you to do right now is create a login ID on Tableau Public. So go to Tableau Public, create a sign in, create a login ID first of all, and then you have to download. This is Tableau Public, go to Tableau Public, create a login ID, download Tableau Public and install it. Downloading and installation is not very difficult. It's a very, very simple process. You simply create a login ID, sign in here, create a login ID and then download Tableau Public, install Tableau Public. From the next session onwards, we are going to have hands-on on Tableau. If you want to really work hands-on on Tableau, you must have the Tableau Public software installed in your system. So before we proceed any further, I would like you to install Tableau Public right now. Pause my video, install Tableau Public right now. All right. Once you save the file on Tableau Public, it will look like a, a simple web page. If you are saving it locally, it will be saved with an extension called TWB, Tableau Workbook. So what there are several extensions within Tableau. TWB is the most common extension. Basically, that is known as Tableau Workbook. It contains the information about each sheet and all the visualizations, etc. There are other extensions like TWBX. It's a workbook with the data. Now, this is a workbook without the data. TWB, this is the most common extension. If you also want to supply the data, if you are giving your file, you want to give the data also along with the file, then you have to save it in TWBX. If you want to save the data connection separately, TDS, like the different, different extensions are there, you will be mostly working with TWB or TWBX. These are the two different extensions that we are most commonly used. That's the basic introduction to Tableau. What is Tableau? It's a ad hoc reporting or business intelligence tool. If you want to quickly create business visualizations, data visualizations, you can use Tableau, one of the most widely used tool right now in the world. So let us learn Tableau. That completes our session one.
from session two onwards, as usual, we have to take a case study. In that case study, we will try to solve a problem and we would like to use Tableau to solve that problem. Let's create business intelligence reports for a particular data set. As I told you, before you go there, you make sure that you have Tableau Public installed and you have all the data sets downloaded, all the material, everything is ready before you proceed. These data sets must be there in your system. These data sets that I'm talking about, they must be present in your system. Just verify all of them, make sure that you have all these files with you or not and while you're going through my videos make sure that you're also working with me you're also like you're pausing the video in between whatever i'm doing here in this video you have to replicate the same in your system if it is not working try to find out where it is going wrong what is going wrong if you're facing any issues immediately call me immediately call us we'll be able to help you i'll see you in the next video